So more of a fun video today. We're gonna be throwing on some rock lights from Firewire on uh, the old F350. Here they are, they're pretty heavy actually. These little pods weigh quite a bit. But um, don't know if I'll do a full you know, tutorial on how to or if I'm just gonna throw them on. I'll kind of pick up the camera as I go and I'll kind of figure it out. So here's our system and what we're working with. Basically, you got these two connectors one is for the front, one is for the back, and then you have to add these adapters to put two in the front and two in the back, you know, one for each wheel well. So we got four, and obviously four wheel wells. So my idea was, I don't want to run this in the engine bay. One, I want to try to keep it nice, you know what I mean? Try to keep it out. We live in a snowy state, snow everywhere, so we deal with salt and stuff. <clears throat> so my idea is, you know, why run a red wire, you know, all the way through the whole cab of the truck, all the way to the battery, when I got my amp right here. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'll cut this off, I'll fray down the wire a little bit, you know what I mean, I'll strip the, the coating off it. And I'm gonna plug it right in with my amp because that's a positive cable, you know what I mean? That's always got positive power coming straight from my battery. They're LEDs, they're efficient. I think it'll kind of help with wire management and I'll just take our ground and I'll just ground it off, I don't know, maybe the seat uh, bracket or something. And then I'll start plugging in my wires from here and just running them to each corner of the truck. That way I have plenty of wire to get to each corner. Well, just like that, we already got the lights working. So now I just gotta start running them to their locations that they need to go. Gotta tuck all the wires, you know, make sure they're all in safe spots and we'll bolt them up. I have a little bit more wire management to do. I gotta clean it up and zip tie some stuff together to keep them close, but we got them ran underneath the cab. They all work. So now that we've tested to make sure they all work, I can start running. I think I'm going to do the back two first. So we're going to run these in place, tuck all the wires, you know, probably zip time to the frame. And then we're going to do the fronts and then mount them up. And just like that, that's what they look like at night. And actually, one other cool fun fact right at this, uh, as a good timestamp, I don't know when this video will get uploaded. Here's the purple truck sitting uh, about ready to go get towed to the body shop to um, get the frame straightened. All on the same day, December 26th, the day after Christmas. Wow, that looks so good. And change all the colors and everything. There's so many different like modes and stuff that we're gonna try out while that one's like seizure mode. See how there's a brighter one? Oh boy, that's kind of cool actually. Yeah, there's a way brighter white. You can change the colors. Man, yeah, that's awesome. So we got another really cool clip for the Ford today. We uh, got an aftermarket white emblem that's gonna go on the front of this. It took a couple months to get it in. It had to get powder coated and all that fun stuff. But I am excited to put this on. So here's our new white emblem. You'll see it sits a little bit bigger than that one. Um, the width of this is the width of like the base and then it flares out just a little bit more just to make it stand out just a hair more. But we're excited to put this on. So what we're gonna do now is pop this emblem off. So the first step to do this is you open up your hood and you gotta remove the four Phillips head screws on the top. And it seems to be we only have one right down here below the Ford emblem. So we're gonna remove those now. So right back here, you had two 10 millimeter nuts holding the emblem in. We just took those off. So we're gonna pop that out now and see where we have to drill our new holes for the new emblem. So as you can see here, this is our new Ford emblem again. And these are the holes that we're gonna have to drill in here. We're gonna have to space them out just a little bit past the other ones, make sure it's even and place it in. So we drilled our holes and we got this in place right where it needs to be and it looks great. Now the last step is to throw it back up on the truck. And just like that, the truck has a little bit more of a unique look putting this new white Ford emblem on the front of it. Really like the look of that. So now that we've just done that, we're gonna go inside the truck now and I have some uh, projects pop up in here that I wanna work on. You can see here, our handle's broken right off. Uh, here's the clip of us, you know, putting the new one together. All right, so here we are. We're back with the shifter that we need to put in Lexus's truck. <clears throat> on her truck, this plastic piece broke off and all the wires are hanging out. 
So we'll get to disconnect the old wires, plug this into where it needs to go. Um, right here, we got this little button. You can see the three prongs. They just plug right into the shifter. And then we have our end cap. It's like a piece of tray. We've got our three prongs. So we're just gonna slightly push this in. That's in place. It's such an easy install. That's what it should look like all put together with the uh, end cap on as well. And so now that that handle's put together, here is the new one. You can see the overdrive button on the plastic is broken off. So I think what we're gonna start by doing is we're going to take apart our steering column and it looks to be like there are some screws right underneath here we're gonna take off. So what you have to do is you have to take a screwdriver after you get your screws out, you have to push it through this little hole right here with the key turn to pull out the whole ignition to take the top plastic of the steering wheel column off. So another issue we're having with the truck too is the weight to start doesn't pop up when the glow plugs are warming up, the tachometer doesn't work, our fuel gauge doesn't work, none of our gauges work besides our speedometer. Every time you go to take the truck out of park and you put it in reverse neutral drive, the fuse pops every time. And I think, and I could be mad wrong, but we didn't start having this problem until recently, the wires are broken in here. I think that may have, an, may have something to do with it, but we'll find out after we get it all together. So another piece we're gonna do really quick is we have to take this switch out, which is just a flathead you push in here and you pull the pin and pull the handle off. We have our gauge cluster trim off. We had to disconnect the two wires that hold it in. So we're gonna put this down. And I also removed this little black clip that was holding this in, uh, this handle. So now we're gonna try to pop the trim off. So the wire that goes to this handle is right back here. It's got the green, purple, and white wire. I just disconnected it from right here. Now I gotta figure out how to get this handle off. So I figured out the secret to this too. You have to disconnect this plastic piece, it's just on clips. I'm gonna lay that there. Actually, we should have gotten a new one of these. This is kind of like a, a boot that goes to your shifter handle, but that's okay. And then you hammer out this pin very lightly. I, I use the back end of a screwdriver and I'm just gonna tap the rest of it out. So after disassembling about half your dashboard, we have uh, the pin out, pull that right out and we should be able to just slide this handle out now we're going to put our new one on and we're going to reverse all of those steps so as you see right here we just took the fuse out of that plot and that's a blown fuse you can tell because it's not connected anymore fuses blow so you don't you know catch your truck on fire so we're going to put our new 15 fuse in you'll see once we put it in the truck once it's in the truck it's fine, it doesn't pop right away. I'm gonna put my ignition back in real quick, turn the key, and then try to put it in park and see if it pops again. All right, so what we did is we put the plastic top back on and we put our key in the ignition. If this doesn't work, I'm not quite sure what it'll be just yet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our key in, we're gonna start the truck up. Good old cold start. And now what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna put it in park. And you can see our tachometer is working, everything's working, but the minute I put it in park, it would let go. So, look at that. No way, they all work now. So fixing that handle stopped our fuse from consistently popping. That is, That just killed two birds with one stone, that's perfect. So we got our shifter handle all back on. I mean, I think that's a pretty successful uh, install right there. You know, it's all back together, all the screws. Got our light back in place and the fuse panels back together. Now we can turn our key because this wasn't plugged in. And you know, you get to see your glow plugs, your fuel filter, wait to start. I mean, that's, it's so awesome. Those little things are important. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out that video. If you want to see some more content on the F350, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe. Thanks so much.